guys, it's me, Bad Jokes, back at you once again with another video. And today, guys, we've got episode number three of our Building a Nation series here on Football Manager 2020, where I am managing not just Mumbai City. That's not enough of a challenge. No, no, no. We are also managing the Indian national team as well and trying to make both of those teams the best in the world so it is a big big massive challenge if you have enjoyed the first couple episodes and if you're looking forward to the rest of the series please pop a like down below every like really does help brand new series like this out in the youtube algorithm and yet we have got not one but two games for you today because we are making an 1100 mile journey to get to Jamshedpur for the game today. It's an absolutely bonkers journey. Apparently, you can't even fly it. The only option is to drive it. If you know if that is correct, please tell me down below. Because surely you must be able to fly this. Surely Google has got this wrong. But, yep, you can see it there. A 38-hour drive. So, our players are going to be knackered. They're going to be a little bit annoyed after that much of a journey. Surely. And, yeah, surely you can fly that. You must be able to. But, that is the first game today. And then, after that, we've got our very first game in charge of the Indian national team. As we take on Cambodia. In a World Cup qualifier, we should really be winning. We'll look more in depth at that game after we've got the club business out of the way. And so, let's have a look, see how we've been getting on since you was last with me. And we've only played two games. You saw the one in the last episode where we drew with Mohan Bagan. And then after that, we've had another draw, a 2-2 draw against Hyderabad. It's a game I thought we had won, but they equalised in the 92nd minute. So I was really proper gutted with that. And then after that, we had a 3-2 defeat against Kolkata. They scored two goals right at the death. I was going to accept a 2-2 draw. I thought on the day that would have been a fair result. But then they went and won it. What Won and won it. I'm getting me Jonathan Ross out here. They went and won it right at the end. And yeah, very disappointing result that. So we have played three games in the league. And we have yet to win one. But today's opponents have played three games as well. And only got the one point. So hopefully, a little bit of confidence. And as well as that, we've got some confidence as well. Because we have just bought, who I think is their main goalkeeper. We have bought Subrata Paul. He is 32 years old. Two star current ability. He has already played one game and conceded three goals. So maybe not the best start. But hopefully, he will get a little bit better as he gets used to the team. And we paid uh, 9.25k for him. So, cheapest chips deal. And he should improve us in the goalkeeping department. And so, let's go and crack on and see what the team is for today's game. In goal, we have got Subrata Paul. At left back, we have got Bose. In central defence, we've got Jingen and Gurdjieff hoping to improve their defensive records from the season thus far. And at right back, we've got Chakraborty filling in for the injured Sarfat Galoy. And then in midfield, we've got Larby on the left, Borges and Mercado in the middle of the midfield. And Daxin and Murphy stays at right back. And then we've got a change up top as we have gone 4-4-2. Bipin Singh and Chermiti take their places up there. Adam Marriott has yet to score for us. So he needs to get a goal soon. Hopefully he can get one coming off the bench today. 
the bookmakers have us as five to four favourites. Our form has been poor, but theirs has been woeful, apparently. So we really need a win today. Get some confidence going. All it takes is one win. Go on a run, and you never know what can happen. Even though we are 10 points already behind top of the table. We sort of need to start winning, because I would like us to be up and around there at some point soon. <laughs> So here we are in the dressing room. Our assistant has not set any opposition instructions. Let's go, assert, even go get out there and impress me. No reaction. I've got no reaction from any of the lads at any point really so far. And nope, none there. What about up top? Nope. Not good. Okay, prediction time. 2-0 us. Let's go and be confident. 2-0 us. Come on, Mumbai. First highlight of the game is Bray with the ball for Jamsapur. And we head it away. Mikado with it. Can he find a teammate as he goes over the halfway line? He needs people running with him. Come on, he plays it back to Daxin and Murphy out wide. He goes for the cross. Chamit, he's in the box. And it's one. It's 1-0. I've just burped. I do apologise. But we have scored with five minutes on the clock. Chermitty with his first of the season. And that is a very, very nice goal there. Let's have a look at the cross from Daxina Murphy. Absolutely perfectly onto Chermitty's little toe. And it goes from his little toe into the back of the net. We are 1-0 up. 20 minutes gone now. Gurung with the ball to Monroy. Goes back to Gurung. He tries to go long. And all our defenders try to head it, but he's missed the header. Passy is in. And they're level, but it's, it's offside. Not quite sure how that's been given offside. Let's have another look at this. Or was he? He was. Okay then. Well, that's a relief. Thank God for VAR. 26 minutes gone. Perea with the ball. Can we win this back? Come on. Vinif with the ball now. To pity. It would be a pity if he scored. But he's only played it out wide. To Lorenko. Monroy. Come on. Win this back. We're putting no real pressure on him. But we've not had to. As Chimiti is in. He is onside. And he's in the box. Can he make it two? Of course he can. 2-0 to Mumbai. I mean Chimiti is a little star, isn't he? What a nice goal this was. As soon as he got the ball, you knew he was not going to miss. He played the offside trap perfectly. And he sent the keeper the wrong way. What keeper dives that way? 33 minutes gone now. Paul with the ball against his old team. Goes to Chimiti who is now on a hat-trick. He can't find his teammate. Fernandez goes long. And Passy heads it away. Acosta to Pity. To Monroy. He plays it to Vinif who's already on a yellow card. Monroy. Are we going to win this back anytime soon? Apparently not. We're going to go out wide to Acosta. He crosses it in and Chakraborty with a nice header away. And they've had a shot which has hit the bar and gone out. Five minutes till half time. Acosta with a corner ball. Jingen heads away. Passy with the header. And that goes over. That is half time. We have had nine shots to their five. Six on target to their two. Two clear cut chances to their none. But they have had more of the ball, so we have done more with it. So that's very, very nice to see. And you know what? I'm going to make a change up top. Bipin Singh has done absolutely nothing to impress me. So I'm going to bring on Adam Marriott for him. In fact, no, I'm not. Stupid rules. Oh my gosh. So if I want to bring him on, I've got to bring him on for Chimiti. That's disappointing. Alright then, so any other changes I can make or do I leave it as is? I think in that case, maybe put Serge Kevin on for Larby. 
uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. And so, nope. In fact, let's not. Let's not do that. Where's my undo button? Why is it? There should be an undo button here somewhere. My brain is going mental. There you go. Control Z will undo it. And so, let's leave it at that. And uh, let's go team talk. Let's go passionate. I'm very happy the way things are going. And yet, everybody's happy there. Let's get a few more goals. How about we get five? I would like that very much. We're 20 minutes into the second half, but no more highlights. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw somebody on out on the left in place of Larby. Uh, Rafiq, can you play out there? Not really, but I'm going to I'm going to throw you on there just so then I can have Marriott and Chamiti. There you go. And so let's see what. No, I've done that wrong again. I'm not paying attention here. We want Marriott for Singh. There we go. That's the correct substitution. And let's go confirm the subs. And let's see if we can get any more goals in this second half. Well, okay. No highlights in the second half. Absolutely none. So, nice, comfortable, easy 2-0 win. Amin Shamiti getting the goals in the first half. I think we just rested for the second half. We just got ready for the 38-hour trip back home. And have a look at these match stats. 16 shots, 2 there, 8. 8 on target, 2 there, 2. 46% of the possession. Nice, comfortable, professional win. And now let's go into the dressing room. And let's go passing it. And I'm very happy with the result and the way you played. And yep. And all right then, guys. I'll be back with you for the India game in just a minute. Sayonara. All right, guys. We're back. It's game day. And now let's have a look at the 11 players I've picked to start this first game in charge of India. Now, I picked all these players because they were the ones that had started the season with the best average ratings. That's how I normally do international management. I go and pick it by who's the best, who started the best with the ratings and the goals and all that sort of match stats kind of thing. So, in goal, we have got Singh Sandhu. He is a 27-year-old, 5-star current and potential ability goalkeeper he plays for Bengaluru and he started the season with four appearances only conceded four two clean seats and got an average rating of 6.7 in the league so that's why he's got in there and then at left back we've got Nisu Kumar who plays again for Bengaluru four appearances one assist 7.28 average rating so far this year. And in the middle, we've got Raju Gaikwad, who plays for the Kerala Blasters. He's got a 6.7 rating from his four games thus far. And alongside him, we have got Baboon Malik, who plays for Mohammedan. He's played four games, got himself a goal, got himself a man of the match, and a 7.00 rating thus far this year. And at right back, we've got Abnet Barty. Three appearances or three starts, one sub appearance, 6.75 rating. So he's started okay. And then on the right hand side of the midfield, we've got Michael Suzerad, who has played again four games and got himself a goal, two assists. And a 7.72 average rating. So he's very, very much deserving of his call up today. And in the middle, we've got our guy, Rainier Fernandez. Three appearances, one goal, one assist, one man of the match. 7.37 for him. So, yep, he's another one who has started this season on fire. And we've got, oh my days, how do I, how do I pronounce this? Eugene is, Eugenison Lingdor, and he's played four games with a 6.8 average rating. And on the left hand side, we've got Asik Kuranian. 
who, who again, four games, 7.75 average rating, five assists already. So if we're going to get a goal, it's probably going to be set up by him today. And then up top, we have got Sunil Chetri, who again plays for Bengalaru. Four appearances, four goals, 7.8 average rating. And he actually looks quite decent. Mm, he looks all right. I think if we're going to score, it's going to be set up by the guy on the left, Kuranian. And it's going to be Chetri putting it home. And then our last striker, very good looking fella, Farouk Chowdhury. Plays for Jamshedpur, so he's going to be a little bit sad because we've just beaten him. But he's had two starts, two subs, one goal, one assist, and an average rating of 7.13. So that is the team for today's game. And now let's go and see what the bookmakers have to say. We are the favourites, 4-7. to seven. We are ranked 95th in the world. Whereas Cambodia are 169th. So we should should be winning this game fairly comfortably, I think. <laughs> Cambodia are playing very, very defensively, it looks like, against us. With their five in the middle. Hopefully we can make some space and we can get in behind that midfield. Because I think if we do, we should get a few goals at least. And let's go opposition instructions. Again, why do none of my assistants ever set any opposition instructions? That is very, very strange. But let's go assertive. We're favourites for a reason. Again, no reaction. I have faith in you. One person's gained confidence. No reaction again. Wow, not the best. So prediction time. 3-0, uh, 3-0 I'm thinking, come on, come on lads, come on India, 26 minutes into the game, we finally have a highlight, Fernandez playing it back to Barty, goes to Malik, and Malik with the ball goes out wide, Fernandez has it, can he cross it into the box, he does, and Chowdhury with a header, and he's just powered that past the goalkeeper, the keeper tried his best to keep it out, but it had a bit too much venom on the header. And we are 1-0 up in this World Cup qualifier versus Cambodia. Malik with the ball. Fernandez, our man Fernandez with the cross. And Chowdhury with the header. And their keeper, Thorn, is just unable to keep the ball out. That is the only highlight of the first half. We have had four shots apiece. We've only had two on target, two there, three. Neither side has had a clear-cut chance. And they have had a little bit more of the ball. And I think one of our players, one of our defenders, is looking a little bit tired. Yet, Baboon Malik. So, we're going to have to take him off. So, who do we take him off for? Do we take him off for Rafi? Mm, you're 18 years old. You might be a little bit young. And you don't look brilliant. Who else have we got? We've got Namit. You are 19 years old and you look even worse. And what about Chetri? You're a right back. And so it's going to have to be Rafi coming on for what I think is his international debut. Yes, it is. He's not even played at youth level. So he is coming on for Baboon Malik. And yep, I think we're going to leave everything else as it is, in fact, you know what? Let's put the wingers on attack. Try and get a couple more goals. And yep, there we go. And go into team talk. They're all very happy. And uh, let's see. How can I ruin this? Things are going well, but I know you're capable of even better. Nope, no reaction. Come on. Oh, well... That's not what you want to see, is it, boys? Oh, well, hopefully they can go out, get another couple of goals and really wrap this game up. Five minutes into the second half, we've got the ball. Fernandez with a cross. Kuranian with a header. And that's 2-0. Two, two goals from two headers. Both of them set up by Rainier Fernandez, And those are two very good-headed goals. As that puts us top of the group. 
in this very early stage. And their keeper maybe should have done a little bit better there. I don't know. And now three minutes after that, Fernandez has got the ball again. Again, he's crossed it in. Chowdhury with a header, but he's offside. What a trio of goals that would have been. Fernandez is causing Cambodia all kinds of problems with his passing here. But yeah, you can see there by the line, he was offside. All right, one more change time. We're just making a change up top. Sonny Mendes, what a name that is. He is coming on in place of Sunil Chetri, who by his standards has had a quite a poor game. If you have a look at Mendes, he's a 16-year-old. He does not look 16. He does not look 16, but apparently he is. And he started in Indian League 2, so like non-league Indian football, with two goals in four appearances. Let's see what, if anything, he can do at international level versus Cambodia. Just under 10 minutes remaining, Cambodia have got a goal kick. They go wide, but we win it back. And Chowdhury is in. Chowdhury is in. Can he make it 3-0? No, he can't. The keeper saved it, but Chowdhury's won it back and given it away. And now they are on the counter. Can they make this a very nervy last few minutes? No, they can't. I think Chowdhury's off here, but you don't know. He's put the ball against the post and it's gone out. But he would have been offside anyway. And that was the last highlight of the game. We have won this one, two goals to nil, with 12 shots, two there, nine, six on target, two there, four, possession right down the middle. I think on balance, we did deserve to win that game, so I'm very happy with that start, and let's go and tell the lads as much. Let's go passionate, I'm very happy, and now we get a reaction out of them, woohoo! And so, let's have a look and see where that puts us at the start of this qualification campaign. We are top of the league. Say, we are top of the league. Hey, that's what you like to see. And who is our next opponent in World Cup qualification? It is Saudi Arabia. <sighs> that's going to be a difficult one, boys. But let's see, when are we going to come back? As far as as far as this series goes and as far as Mumbai goes. Why can I not look at Mumbai's schedule? There we go. That's a little bit better. And so, you know what? I've kind of liked doing that. Doing that club team and international team double header. I think that's what I'm going to do again in the next one. So, when is the Saudi Arabia game? That is 10th of the 10th. And so, that's when we're going to come back. We're going to come back for Chennai at home with Mumbai. And then we're going to come back for the Saudi Arabia game in World Cup qualification. And so, boys and girls, that is where we are going to leave it for today. If you've enjoyed that video, please pop a massive thumbs up down below. And if you're new and if you've enjoyed this, please crack that subscribe button down below. Every new subscriber really does help the channel out. Every new like really does help the channel out. And yep, guys, as well as that, follow me on Twitter at Bad Jokes Gaming. And as well, one last thing, check out the Passion for FM Discord, the Twitter, uh, the Facebook, the everything, the website, the whole lot, everything they've got going on. Check it all out. All the information is down below. And yep, guys, that's going to be it for me. I'll be back tomorrow with the next King's Lynch episode. And then after that, we're going to be doing this alternating days. So I shall see you tomorrow for the King's Lynch save. Arrivederci.